So today we have with us Mr. Vikram Bhandari, founder and CEO of Yantra Inc. Vikram, I would like to start this session with a brief introduction. So can you tell us about Yantra and the services provided by your company? Yeah, so typically at Yantra, we are trying to harmonize the vision of CFOs and CIOs, right? So that there's strategic alignment and innovation can happen. Uh, we are basically a management services and, uh, and IT consulting company uh, focused on multiple verticals across uh, the board. Um, again, we are uh, we have clients uh, in twenty countries, and we we not only support systems, but we also support. Uh, uh, we typically work for the office of the CIO and the CFO. Can you tell more about the role that uh, Yantra plays in streamlining and optimizing processes for the businesses? Yeah. So, optimizing and strategizing right those, those are two keywords which we play around with uh, and or those are the two key areas where we uh, play in um, optimizations uh, could be uh, could be involving systems optimizations could be involving uh, an ai tool optimization could involve building efficiencies through reporting uh, and so on on the strategy side, we do work with companies who want to go IPOs. Uh, we help for IPO readiness. We do help uh, for uh, growth into multiple uh, countries also. If somebody wants to expand in a different country, what should happen and so on. So again, we work on both sides of the realm where uh, you strategize and optimize both. Vikram, you talked about growth in multiple countries. That reminds me of the announcement that Yantra has made. Yantra is committed to invest uh, around 100 crore in India to develop Gen AI. Yeah. Can you elaborate on the specific area within AI that Yantra is planning to focus on? So I'll just go a little bit. Uh, I'll just backtrack a little bit. If you if you read if. Everybody's talking about AI, right? Uh, it's uh, it's it's funny that people who understand AI are also talking about AI, and majority of people don't understand what AI is. They intermingle with RPA, AI, Gen AI, uh, APIs, everything in a, in one bucket as a as AI, right? So AI historically in the history of technology ai is the fastest adopted business technology right if you look at the, the entire 50 years realm ai is the fastest adaptive business technology in the history right and gen ai is pushing leaders to re-examine all aspects of the businesses uh, despite significant unknowns there's a lot of unknowns in in the ai industry today right People don't know how AI will be uh, working for them, how they're going to help. But um, uh, but Gen AI is, is game changing, right? It is, um, it is uh, helping, uh, it is opening new avenues for improving experiences, delivering new value streams, building efficiencies. Uh, we are seeing a very fast growth in these areas. Yantra, as such, has committed to investing 100 crores in India over the next two years. Uh, it will be done in two big chunks. One is building a center of excellence for AI so that we can serve our existing customers. The second is building products for financials uh, or for CFOs um, on existing ERPs so that they can, uh, they can, uh, generate their, uh, planning models and financial models using Gen AI. Um, if you, if you read across the board, everybody is doing Gen AI for marketing, Gen AI for customer services, Gen AI for emails, Gen AI for mostly on the customer service uh, side of it, right? Not many companies have touched uh, touch the areas of finance um, in in uh, and which is a little bit difficult because there's security concerns, there's data privacy concerns, there's a lot of concerns there. 
and we are trying to get into that uh, that area as we were talking about expansion right so uh, around the expansion there are uh, yantra has also made an announcement related to hirings as yantra is planning to hire 500 employees in the next yeah. two years yeah but the but what we are witnessing is global layoffs by major tech companies so amidst of this time how does yantra plans to approach hiring and talent acquisition so if you look at it this is the right time to hire right when the big the big boys on the block are uh, are doing layoff whether you call it google whether you call it facebook whether you call it microsoft everybody is laying off right um and even even middle size mid size companies are laying off because the economy is not doing that great but for where we are our growth trajectory is uh, is pretty high and um, and we plan to double up in 2 years we are close to 500 people today and we plan to become 1000 people in 2 years majority of it is uh, is going to be towards uh, focus on gen ai growth right and and if you look at it our hiring strategy is going to be uh, has been typically 30% in, in the americas and 70% in india that's the balance which we keep on our our resource model and that's the model we are going to go with um the biggest i think we are finding good talent available we are finding people who want to work on uh, uh, complex problems um, we are finding uh, we are finding people who understands understand the technology we need to align and groom them so that they can they can start thinking from a product standpoint they are thinking from a technology standpoint so, so that there is a transition each one we hire has to go through from a from a technology to a product uh, uh, product thought process right you will find a python developer but that python developer may be a great python developer but he or she is not a great product uh, or an industry expert and that's where we bring in the industry problems we bring in the industry expertise and these guys will build products for us vikram we are focusing on the context of india right now so let's move towards that india uh, india's retail landscape it is going undergoing a significant digital transformation right mm -hmm. so what unique challenges and opportunities do you foresee for indian retailers so if you look at retail right basically retail has got six or seven components right retail starts with the consumer then there is the assortment which they sell there is purchasing which they have to do then there is the locations then they have to replenish their stock they have to do fulfillments and pricing and then it goes back to a consumer coming in and buying right i think the retail industry uh, the us retail industry went through a major transition uh close to the covid time zone i think india high is now going through what us went through a few years ago um we are seeing a lot of and india has an advantage actually because the transformation which india is going through at this point in time is is where ai has been introduced when the transformation of the us retail industry happened ai was not existing so they had to transform and now they are going through an injection of ai in, in their existing transformation layer india while it's transforming has ai and is going to take advantage of it so um so for example i talk about assortment basic problem with india retail is the is the inventory the cost of inventory holding um ai now exactly can tell you when to expand shrink assortments what's the maximum profitability what's the best inventory holding cost all of those are automatically calculated um when you purchase ai can actually calculate the ideal quantities to purchase they can they can automatically generate pos they can automatically send it to the retail channels right um uh, when you fulfill orders are optimized and the fulfillment software powered powers the uh, advanced analytics and ai is powered by the advanced analytics and ai so for example i get 100 orders a day 20 go to delhi now i can fulfill 
those 20 boxes go, reaching Delhi in one place and then being distributed from there instead of sending 20 to 20 different addresses, right? So all of this is being done or will be done using AI. And I think India has an advantage um, that during this transformation, uh, there's a availability of AI, which other countries which got transformed a few years ago did not have. As rightfully said, technological advancement has truly made its way to India and it's a wave that is not stopping. Can you elaborate yeah. on technological advancement introduced by Yantra that had made significant impact on industries like fintech and, and any other sectors? So we work across sectors, right? I'll, I'll stick to retail for a minute. Retail, what happens is, um, if you look, look at a retail landscape, uh, the, the typical landscape is, say for example, you go to Amazon.com, uh, you buy something there, there is inventory sitting there, somebody in the warehouse. So when you buy something, the order goes to the warehouse, the warehouse ships it, and then uh, it goes into the financial system. So there's a reconciliation going to happen between four or five systems. These are different systems which each of the companies use, which is a nightmare for all of that. We have built a product which we call it as retail recon, which reconciles automatically all four systems and gives you an exception report which says, hey, there's an order here, it was not shipped, or there's an order here which we did not get paid, or there's an order here when we shipped the wrong product. The AI tool automatically does that for you. Today, humans take hours and days to identify that. The AI product can do it like instantaneously. Right? Um, if you look at uh, if you look at the distribution industry, right, or if you look at the manufacturing industry, the optimum usage of raw material in in uh, in a manufacturing industry can be defined or we have built products which says this is the optimum usage of a particular raw material to generate say bags or whatever it may be right so we we have built products and we are working on products which uh, which will be based on ai and which will drive this uh, whole transformation Victim, as businesses are increasingly adapting to digital practices, but in between of this digital practices, ESG and sustainability becomes a question. It's a crucial aspect of this industry. How are hmm. organizations incorporating green solution within their digital transformative uh, initiatives? Again, I am not a green solution expert, but what I have seen, again, I have, I have a team which manages that. But AI solution are also designed to be energy efficient. So, so I'm talking of green energy going back to AI, right? So energy efficient, it should reduce the carbon emissions and the footprint. It should support cleaner environment. All of these three or four things are part of it. Actually, we are working we are working on uh, on bill here which will uh, take care of two things uh, with the us administration which will take care of two things one is the the whole sustainability the second is privacy <laughs> actually four things sustainability privacy safety and security right when we add all these four then it becomes a reliable and an integrity based system right so sustainability comes at the top where where it has to be sustainable so that it can scale at at, the, at, at a very fast pace uh, again as i said i'm not an expert on esgs and uh, um, and uh, green but uh, this is where i think the entire technology landscape is moving Thank you. Thank you, Vikram. Although you are not an expert in ESG, you answered that question really well. Lastly, would you like to add something that I may have missed to ask? So I think if you if you look at if you in, if if you weave the entire story where AI is the India's next wave. Right, AI is going to be India's next wave. The local Modi government is also helping build a lot of AI. They're supporting it. Uh, I was in a uh, government-sponsored co conference in Delhi a few uh, weeks ago. 
and from what i hear there's a lot of a uh, lot of uh, uh, energy and lot of excitement around ai with this uh, administration you take that and you apply that to a retail industry retail industry has not gone through a major transformation in years this is the time for retail industry to go through a major transformation it has gone from manual to computerized it has not transformed it has moved one step ahead so if you look at it 15 years ago what somebody was doing manually now it can be done computerized now they are saying oh i am getting financial thing uh, automated or oh, now i am getting reporting automated all of those things have been automated but they have not been quote on quote transformed this is the age and era which india can actually take advantage of ai while the entire country is going through transformation and i think it will be a leader because it is going to leverage um the entire underlying technology which ai has to offer uh, and it's very fast it's very efficient and it can be applied in all aspects of uh, of businesses right not only retail any and all aspects of businesses right um so i think that is that is uh, that is um, uh that is what i would say the last thing i would say is that we did we did quite a few uh, uh surveys and um, and one of the thing uh, one of the things which the cfos were asked is this a hype or reality right whether uh, whether um, uh, ai is hype or reality and majority of the cfos came back uh i think it was 72% uh of the cfos came back and said it is a reality we want to have a play in ai and can you help us take there right there 28% still said that this is hype and this will go away but there 72% uh, cfos are still very high on um, ai and and majority of them are saying that nothing is being done on the financial sector everybody is focusing on marketing and consumer services and that is where i think the biggest bang for the buck is for uh, companies like us who can solve complex problems so that's that's uh, that's uh, my parting comment uh, you know so i think if you if you look at if you in, if if you weave the entire story where ai is the india's next wave right ai is going to be india's next wave the local modi government is also helping build a lot of ai they are supporting it uh, i was in a uh, government sponsored co- conference in delhi a few uh, weeks ago and from what i hear there's a lot of a uh, lot of uh, um, energy and lot of excitement around ai with this uh, administration you take that and you apply that to a retail industry retail industry has not gone through a major transformation in years this is the time for retail industry to go through a major transformation it has gone from manual to computerized it has not transformed it has moved one step ahead so if you look at it 15 years ago what somebody was doing manually now it can be done computerized now they are saying oh i am getting financial thing uh, automated oh now i am getting reporting automated all of those things have been automated but they have not been quote on quote transformed this is the age and era which india can actually take advantage of ai while the entire country is going through transformation and i think it will be a leader because it is going to leverage um the entire underlying technology which ai has to offer uh, and it's very fast it's very efficient and it can be applied in all aspects of uh, of businesses right not only retail any and all aspects of businesses right um so i think that is that is uh, that is um, uh that is what i would say the last thing i would say is that we did we did quite a few uh, uh surveys and um, and one of the thing uh, one of the things which the cfos were asked is this a hype or reality right whether uh, whether um, uh, ai is hype or reality and majority of the cfos came back uh, i think it was 72% uh, 
uh, of the CFOs came back and said, it is a reality. We want to have a play in AI and can you help us take there, right? There are 28% still said that this is hype and this will go away. But there are 72% uh, CFOs are still very high on uh, AI. And, and majority of them are saying that nothing is being done on the financial sector. Everybody is focusing on marketing and consumer services. And that is where I think the biggest bang for the buck is for uh, companies like us who can solve complex problems. So that's that's uh, that's uh, my parting comment. Uh, you know. So I think if you if you look at if you in, if if you weave the entire story, where AI is the India's next wave, right? AI is going to be India's next wave. The local Modi government is also helping build a lot of AI. They're supporting it. Uh, I was in a uh, government-sponsored co conference in Delhi a few uh, weeks ago, and from what I hear, there's a lot of a uh, lot of uh, um, energy and a lot of excitement around AI with this uh, administration. You take that and you apply that to a retail industry. Retail industry has not gone through a major transformation in years. This is the time for retail industry to go through a major transformation. It has gone from manual to computerized. It has not transformed. Vikram, thank you for your valuable insights, your time and willingness to share your views with our viewers. Thank you so much for joining us today. It, I really appreciate your time. You took out time from your busy schedule and had this conversation. I really appreciate it.